Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Sunday, September 17, 2023, and we are back with our NFL Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NFL videos every single day, along with college football and the MLB. Had a winning day in the MLB yesterday, had a 7-4 and four day in college football. Very, very profitable. We're also going to have a big winning year in the NBA, college basketball, and a winning year in the NHL. I'm going to go after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first eight months on YouTube. So I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. Before um, we get started with the picks, I just want to say thank you to everybody, guys. We had over 10,000 subscribers today. We've only been on YouTube for seven months. And um, I just can't say how grateful I am for every single one of y'all who have subscribed um, and every single person who watches. So thank you guys so much. But let's get into it. So to recap Thursday's results, it was our last NFL day. It went 3-0. and uh, We had the Vikings plus 6.5, a, a little backdoor cover. Winner. Jordan Addison over 42.5 receiving yards. That was a winner. Thank you for that bomb, Kirk Cousins. Also over 48.5 total points. That was a pretty much a no-sweat winner. Thought Justin Jefferson's fumble on the goal line may have killed it, but that second half was just about as high scoring as you can ask for. So big winners overall. <clears throat> overall for the year, we're 38-18 and 18 so far uh, for the NFL season. We're 16-6 and six in our best bets. Um, and we have in we have today, we have three free picks I'm giving out today. Plus, we're going to have at a bare minimum five members-only picks. We'll probably have more. And if you want to have access to those members-only picks and profit even more, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all of our members-only plays. They're our most profitable plays texted to you uh, directly to your phone. Uh, you also have a direct line to me, so any game you're considering betting, you can reach out to me on our hotline number. Get a guaranteed response back by any game you're considering betting as long as it's six minutes before game time. And all of our free picks on YouTube are text to you beforehand as well. That way, we'll take advantage of early lines and early odds if you like those. And again, that website is edmbets.com slash picks, edmbets.com slash picks, edmbets.com slash picks. So let's get into it. So three free picks today. Let's start with our first bet. It was going to be the Bills, minus eight and a half uh, versus the Raiders. Uh, the Bills play two types of games. They play one type of game. They play it very, very close and they lose. That's usually, that, that's a very common one for them, especially in big games. Um, or they blow you out. And today is going to be the second, especially since they're at home. Uh, the, Bron the, the Broncos offense looked like crap and looked like shit against the meh Raiders, Raiders defense last week. But that's the Broncos. And the Raiders defense is not that good. That's just really what it comes down to. Everyone's ripping Josh Allen last week, including me. I ripped him pretty hard. And by the way, deservedly so, to be very clear. Um, but and by the way, for those of y'all who are telling me to stop hating on him, the guy has a $250 million contract. He gives one singular shit about what I say. Like, seriously. Um, but he's still a very, very good quarterback. I would say top five, top seven in the league. Um, he's just up and down. Last week, he was really down. This week, he'll be really up. That's just really how this game is played. And lastly, he, and listen, the Raiders don't have the guys in the secondary to match up with anyone on the on the, Bronco, uh, the Broncos, on the, on the Bills, who have a very, very strong wide receiver core. Um, and James Cook is also really good. Um, and the Raiders don't have the firepower to affect an elite secondary of the Bills. The Bills do have an elite secondary. Their second corner spot is a little, is a little eh, but their safeties are the best two safeties. The best safety tandem in the league. Tredavious White's always been great. They have great linebackers that can really scrape across for run support and have great pass support. Matt Milano to pick against the Jets. Um, I love the Bills win here by 10 or more today at home. I think they're a blow them out. Next, we have the Jets, nine, uh, plus nine and a half versus the Cowboys. This is going to be a defensive game, and everyone is in on the Cowboys today. I love the Jets, specifically because everyone loves the Cowboys. Zach Wilson is a massive downgrade. I'm not going to pretend like it's not. However, with the talent they have around him, they, they have some elite talent around him. Brees Hall is legit. I don't know why they even not signed Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook's great, but when you have Brees Hall, you got to give him more carries. Or if they're playing on splitting him, I kind of get that. Um, but you have Garrett Wilson, Dalvin Cook, um, you have Brees Hall, uh, and the receivers that they brought over from Green Bay weren't terrible. I mean, like, I, Lazard didn't really have any bad bad plays against the Bills. Um, and the Jets' defense is unbelievably good. I mean, as everyone knows, this is, this is like saying water is wet. They are incredible. And the fact is, is that they can hold down a bad Cowboys offense because the Cowboys offense looked like total dog shit against the Giants. Um, their defense really won that game for them, obviously. And the defense had like two, two or three touchdowns. Um, but the Cowboys offense does not look good. And if you're playing against a great Jets defense, that's going to be a serious problem. It will be a defensive battle. Um, and the Cowboys, and listen, the Cowboys defense looked awesome against the Giants. They did play against the Giants, though, who, are, who have Daniel Jones, a quarterback. Um, smart move in the Giants, by the way, paying the guy a billion dollars to be a like a below average quarterback. Thank you, Giants, for being competent. I appreciate that as a Redskins fan. Um, but 
the fact is, is I think they're going to, I don't think this game is going to be like a comfortable win. I think this game reminds me very similar of how the Cowboys were seven and a half point dog against the Bengals last year. And it was a hell of a lot closer there. I like the Jets here. I don't think the Jets are going to win, but I think they're going to cover the spread. I like the Jets here plus nine and a half. And then lastly, the Commanders plus three and a half versus the Broncos. Um, really the Redskins, that's their actual name, but whatever. But here's the thing. I don't trust, I don't trust uh, Russell Wilson whatsoever. This guy is washed. And, he, and by the way, me saying that, maybe he just goes out and has a great game today. But the, but the Redskins defense, we're elite. We are all, our defensive line is fantastic. Chase Young is back from the injury report. Uh, the linebackers, we play a nickel spot. So we have two linebackers. Jamin Davis is actually really, really solid, especially in pass, especially in pass, um, pass situations. And our, and our secondary is pretty solid. And the fact is, Jerry Judy has not shown anything. He was great in Alabama. He's not shown anything in the NFL. Corlin Sutton, very solid NFL receiver, but he's not elite. He's not a top flight guy. And I think St. Juice, Forbes, all these guys, Kendall Fuller, are able to hold them down. And plus the Broncos, with Sean Payton, scored 16 points against a meh Raiders defense. Like, they, they, they didn't play against some elite defense. They, they played at home, and they scored 16 points. And last year, I was like, if we can just get to 20 points, and they averaged 18 points a game, we would have won 12-3. and three. Well, they scored 16 points again. This is a not this is not a Sean Payton issue. Hell, it may not be a Nat Hackett issue. It's a Russell Wilson issue. And he refuses to run. He wants to be a pocket passer. Russell Wilson, when he's running, that's when he's great. And he's just refusing to do that. Until he until he shows me that he's going to do that, we're going to be fading the Broncos. So I like the Red, I like the commanders here. Plus, I mean, we have good and then listen, the Redskins, they have very, very good wide receivers. They're very underrated. McLaurin's great. Jahan Dotson's great. Uh, Curtis Samuel, if he can stay healthy, is very good. Uh, we cannot give the ball to if they if they give the ball to Antonio Gibson, he will fumble. So we can't do that. So Brian Robinson, we can just take him. Although Brian Robinson looks like he's running with like anvils in his pockets. The dude, the dude has no mobility whatsoever. Um, but we have and our all line actually pretty good. So I think it'll be a defensive battle. I think it's gonna be a three point game one way or the other. I'm taking the Commanders here plus three and a half. Now, like I said, we do have five members only plays in the minute. We probably will have more. To get that, you can get them at zdmbets.com slash picks. But a quick recap what we have. Uh, we have the Bills minus eight and a half. We have the Jets plus nine and a half. And we have the Commanders plus three and a half. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check those other videos.